Hi, welcome to Pathology Riddles. Today we will be discussing a few Viva questions. Stay tuned till the end to get a useful tip. So describe a Samoma body. <clears throat> Samoma body is basically round, basophilic, laminated calcific material like you are seeing in this picture. Name six conditions where Samoma bodies are seen. So the conditions are papillary carcinoma of thyroid, meningioma, calcifying epithelial odontogenic tumor, bronchoalveolar carcinoma, serous ovarian tumors, and papillary mesothelioma. Describe the nuclear features of papillary carcinoma thyroid. So as you can see, there is optically clear nuclei. Here, optically clear nuclei, there will be overcrowding, overlapping, grooving, intranuclear inclusions. Like you can see, here the inclusions are there, here the inclusions are there. Basically, it is cytoplasmic intranuclear inclusion. So, cytoplasm tends to infiltrate into the nucleus. And then there are nuclear grooving. Grooving means it looks like a line in between the nucleus. Those are called groovings. Mention the age groups which is affected commonly by papillary thyroid carcinoma. So it is most often seen between the ages of 25 to 50 years. Mention the two variants of papillary thyroid carcinoma. There are follicular variant and tall cell variant. There are other variants also which you can read in the books. Name three genetic alterations in papillary thyroid carcinoma. So, RET, PTC rearrangement is one of the genetic alterations. Then, BRAF mutation and RAS mutation, RAS mutation. So, basically you saw that since we discussed about Samoma bodies, we went to papillary carcinoma thyroid. So whenever there is a viva question, whenever the examiner is asking any questions, please make sure that you are answering the examples which you know about. Lot of times uh, because of confusion or because of uh, scared nature of us, we tend to utter words which make makes us fall into deeper trouble. So try to answer the uh, examples or the answers should be such that you know thoroughly about it rather than the ones which are uncommon and which will land you into trouble. So until we see you again, thank you.